If we uh, just twist this, you know, the water comes dumping out. Tankless water heater. But, uh, you know, you squeeze that and tons of water comes shooting out of it. Um, let's start from the source uh, and, uh, and work our way through the system. So I just use, um, in this case, I've got a five gallon jug. You know, you can use buckets, uh, any water source. In this particular camping trip where I'm at, uh, we have a water spigot uh, just down the street that I can walk and fill these jugs up with. I'll do another video later in the year when I'm up in the sticks uh, by a stream and show you my water purification system so that I have unlimited water from any water source, stream or lake or whatever. Uh, you guys will uh, enjoy seeing that. Uh, but we've just got a piece of, of flexible tubing. It's just stuffed down in there. I don't have any kind of check valve or anything on that. Um, in fact, I will, I'll pull it out here so you can see. So you can see the end there, um, and when it comes out of the water, you know, obviously lets the, the water, the air get in, but that's no big deal. And uh, it just goes through that hose there, and uh, comes up the, the back side here, and uh, comes into my pump. Now this is a, a 24 volt uh, pump from Seaflow. I'll put a link down in the description for it. Fantastic pump. It uh, works extremely well for this application. It's you know meant for you know an RV or a boat or, or something like this. So a very simple plumbing system like this, it's way overkill for it, but uh, gives us tons of pressure, uh, as much or more pressure than we have at home. Uh, so it makes it a joy to spray the dishes and, and what have you. But uh, the water comes in. There's a little strainer here. Um, uh, I just keep it there uh, so the pump has uh, full protection, but uh, I make sure I, I get good clean water uh, to send through it. And then over here, uh, I've got an adapter. So we've got half inch threads. I need to be able to disconnect uh, the plumbing from the, the pump. So this has some little, uh, what, wings on it that I can use to just twist and take off the intake hose. And then this is just one of those uh, compression couplings I found on the sprinkler aisle at Home Depot and uh, so that allows me a, a quick disconnection uh, at that point and then I transition um, to these just uh, you know press in and lock type tubes uh, and, and they're easy you can pull this put push this little um, let's see if I can get you in there closer there you go push this little uh, collar back and the, the hose pops right out so uh, that works really well to modify or change or replace parts as needed. Uh, so that comes out of the pump, comes through here, and, uh, and comes to T number one. Um, let's just follow the, this side first. So it comes through here, through that hose, uh, right here. And then I've got a shutoff valve if I need to isolate this at all. And it uh, goes through that through that hose up through here and comes to my little sprayer. And this I just got at Home Depot, super cheap. Uh, you know, something you'd find at a, on a normal sink. Um, but uh, you know, you squeeze that and tons of water comes shooting out of it. So works really, really well. Um, so if we want a spray type pattern, we've got that option. Let's go back to this T. Um, on this side, we come here, we're gonna go straight through this T, and that comes around, and uh, just goes right into the, the back of this uh, conduit fitting. And, uh, and that goes up in the, inside this PVC pipe, and this just provides some rigidity. This is a 90 degree conduit bend, and then a 45, and that uh, creates our faucet. So then I've got just a, a valve right here and a short piece of pipe right there so if we uh, just twist this you know the water comes dumping out so uh, that's kind of for uh, faucet type use um, how I got to pivot um, is down here um, I just glued in a riser like sprinkler riser that I'd get from Home Depot and then that comes up and transitions to just some, some threads right here. And then this is a threaded 
fitting and so I don't screw this on tight and it just, uh, you know, rotates on those threads uh, as I need it to. So, um, pretty uh, cheap and easy to do that. Uh, I glued this in with uh, some JB Weld epoxy. Put a link down in the description for that stuff. I use it for all kinds of projects. It works so well for so many things. And I've just got this um, plywood platform right here. Uh, that just kind of keeps everything steady, keeps this faucet from tipping over, holds the pump, and uh, works extremely well. So, uh, and that I just had kicking around uh, in my garage, so I used that. And obviously, you could use something else uh, if you if you had it. Doesn't have to be plywood, uh, especially today uh, with how crazy lumber prices is due to the pandemic. Uh, probably be uh, money ahead if you use something other than plywood unless you had leftover uh, from something. <laughs> so anyway, coming back to this T then. So we went straight last time. So we come off this and uh, I've got another um, valve right here that I can uh, switch off if I need to and isolate this circuit. And this circuit comes down and uh, continues down and it uh, runs into this gas land um, tankless water heater. This thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, this gives us uh, hot water. So it just runs on uh, propane. You can see the propane bottle right there in the sun. And then uh, two D cell batteries uh, is what it uses to uh, ignite itself. And uh, the controls uh, are down here. And uh, so you can control uh, water flow right here. This knob has uh, been confusing to some people. If you turn into the snowflake, that's winter mode, and that fires up all the burners uh, in the unit. So it will provide you the hottest water possible. That's counterintuitive, because you'd think towards the sun, which is summer mode, uh, you know, more, uh, the towards the red would equal hotter, and towards the snowflake would equal cooler. But for this knob, that's not the case, so. Uh, it's pretty cold here. It was down in the 30s uh, last night, so we've got it on winter mode, and then uh, we've got it maxed out on uh, the flame and turned down to the lowest flow setting. So that's going to give us the hottest water possible, and that works great for dishwashing, which is what we primarily use it for. We also uh, have used it for, um, you know, washing hair, or even uh, when we're just up in the middle of nowhere, you can do a, a full-on shower with this and it's very comfortable. So anyway, uh, if I squeeze the, the the trigger and send water through it, you'll see it immediately ignites, and then you can see down that temperature range, uh, it'll just start to, to um, slowly increase. We've got some uh, air in the system. There we go, 118, 120, 124, and that's in Fahrenheit, so very, very hot water. I don't know if you can see, but in, in our sink here, uh, we've got steam uh, coming out of it from that hot, uh, hot water. So anyway, works extremely well. Hey, if you don't have water in the line, because, uh, or I'm sorry, air in the line, because I took the hose out of the, <laughs> out of the jug a minute ago. But anyway, uh, cool water comes in, obviously hot water comes out, and uh, the hot water, this is the hot water line right here. And uh, it just comes, and I've got it hooked up to um, a simple spray nozzle right here. Uh, again, just like you find at uh, any on any sink or home improvement place or whatever. Uh, so anyway, super cheap, super inexpensive, but works very, very well. So anyway, that uh, is uh, how that water gets to our sink. While we're talking about the sink now, because we're done with the plumbing aspect, this is just a, a good old, you know, container, storage container uh, you'd get at, uh, you know, Walmart or Target or Home Depot or wherever, and uh, that serves as our sink. It's a giant, holds uh, a ton of dishes, lends itself really well to all the washing and, and stuff we need to do. I just drilled a little hole uh, right here, this is a little screen I have in it, uh, but there's a little hole there and uh, and then attached uh, some PVC pipe to that um, 
and uh, you can see it coming out the bottom here and then I just kind of cocked around it so that it uh, sealed and then I've got uh, hose threads right here for a garden hose so that way I can actually hook up a, a short garden hose and run the uh, wastewater out uh, from inside the tent uh, on this particular camping trip I forgot that so we're just letting it go down and water the weeds here but uh, we, we have uh, options to connect that hose and run it outside as needed and then the sink also serves two purposes because when it's not being used as the sink we dry it out and uh, all this stuff the pump all the hoses the faucet uh, everything uh, collapses and uh, and goes inside that so I'll show you when we clean up uh, camp uh, this uh, time around uh, I'll add that to the end of this uh, video where uh, I show you how I pack it all up and how it all fits so anyway uh, there's the lid for uh, the uh, the sink <laughs> and uh, that's just used for uh, transportation and storage okay last but not least uh, this is a 12 volt pump and so we need to get power to it so anyway we follow this uh, short cable back and uh, come here to this uh, battery pack this I just built myself um, I didn't want to spend all the crazy amounts of money for a uh, Another power station. I have a EcoFlow Delta. Uh, it's just an EcoFlow Delta, plain Delta, um, and we do bring that for longer camping trips. But uh, it powers our our 12 volt cooler. So anyway, this pump hardly runs, so it doesn't use very much power at all. Um, so I just wanted a, a cheap, uh, good solution. So I built this again. It's just on a little piece of plywood I had kicking around. These uh, battery cells are 21700. I just uh, ordered these um, sleds, these battery sleds, uh, from uh, someone on eBay. Uh, super cheap. They do, uh, you know, all kinds of battery sleds. So I just uh, ordered them. You can see if I get uh, close here. Uh, see how there's space between them? So they're actually sleds that hold two a pair of batteries two batteries each so when this is fully loaded i can actually do put in 18 21 700 cells um that's complete overkill uh for this short of a camping trip that we're doing right now so i've just got it half loaded um but each of these sleds um are hooked in series so the voltage steps up uh with each um sled and then each sled is in parallel so anyway uh, really nice uh, battery pack here and uh, it just goes in uh, I've got a little um, battery monitor there I don't know if you can see it but uh, we're at 43 percent and tells us the voltage uh, of the pack which is awesome and then uh, I've got this uh, converter right here that takes the higher voltage of all these uh, battery sleds in series and steps it down to 12 volts. But what I do um, when we're not using the sink is I just pop one of those cells out. That shuts the whole pack down and then we have no wasted uh, power whatsoever. And then it's just a quick pop in and it powers up and we're good to go. So that's worked really well for me. This does not have any kind of a, a charging system uh, or anything built in. This is strictly to power my sink. So uh, I've got uh, some battery chargers at home uh, that uh, I actually remove all the cells from this and put them in the charger. Um, I, I didn't want to mess with the BMS or anything like that to get these uh, charged, to be able to charge them while in place. Uh, that just seemed to overly complicate it and, and where this lasts uh, plenty of time uh, for any length of camping trip I need, uh, especially if I fully load it with all 18 cells, uh, there's, there's really no worry. So. Anyway, if I know I'm going for multiple weeks somewhere, I'll bring the battery charger for these. Uh, it can hold uh, 10 cells, so there's nine here, so I'll just load half of them in at a time, charge the other half you know, off the uh, other power station that uh, gets solar or whatever, and it, it works out well for me. So anyway, I hope the train's coming through. Uh, you probably heard that. <laughs> but that's kind of the overview of this sink. So anyway, um, let's go to the part where I pack it up and you can see how that looks. 
Okay, I'm going to show you how to how this uh, sink uh, gets packed up and uh, put away. So I've disconnected the power and everything. Uh, you want to just make sure there's no uh, pressure left over. So you can just uh, use the supporter. Nothing. So then we can go ahead and start disassembling. I like to start from the back and work forward. So we're going to disconnect the intake hose here. And it just unscrews like that and uh, the water will just drain right out of that so we'll just set that aside for now and then we need to go ahead and uh, disconnect the um, main water lines so what I like to do is hold this at the lowest position, open the faucet so the air can come in, and uh, this will just uh, drain out some of the excess water. And we'll go ahead and disconnect this fitting. Drain out any extra water we can drain. And then coil this up that aside and then go ahead and disconnect the faucet and then go ahead and disconnect the pump drain out any excess water set that aside and then I just uh, hold this up and uh, twist this off. Just uh, unthreads from its threads there. Again, draining any excess water. And then go ahead and just take this fitting off. Set all this aside. Finally, the pump. It just disconnects. And I'll just dump the excess water out of it. Okay, so that's the, the draining procedure. Let's see, I've cut that to be just right. I'll go right in there, in with the pump. faucet it lies just right in there this fitting right here kind of go anywhere you want and then get the uh, tubing goes in there sprayer and what have you goes in there I keep my sponge and dish soap in there as well strainer and then I've got extra parts in case of a casualty needs to be repaired I, I keep some spare parts uh, around but that uh, is all the parts so the lid just goes on nicely like that and then I flip it over and store it actually on the lid so the drain hooks up. And that's it. It's as easy as that.